Hello. On this edition of the Orden Shot, we're going to be looking at a wide angle lens. It's um, this one here. I've got it mounted on the front of my MTL 50 Practica. It is a Carl Zeiss Jena 29mm f2.8 multi coating. It's um, an attractive looking lens. I don't know if it will show up on the video here, but it's got a lovely, attractive purple coating on the front. And um, the lens goes from f2.8 to f22. It focuses down to 6 inches. The, um, <coughs> it's an M42 mount. Um, that's why it's on the Practica. And um, that coating looks lovely but don't let it fool you. This thing can flare like an angry bull's nostril. I've got two copies of this lens and I've used them on a number of occasions. Never been totally impressed with the sharpness. The centre of the image can turn out quite good but the fall off in quality towards the edges is very noticeable and not just at the wide apertures. What especially surprised me is that even when using hyperfocal distance on small apertures, things at infinity can be quite blurred. So maybe the depth of field scale isn't accurately placed on the lens, or maybe this copy has a fault, and maybe the glass element alignment's out. But um, I loaded the camera with Ilford FP4, and um, I'm going to have a look at the photos. When we get to the shot of the multiple sprouting elm trunks, observe how bad the sharpness is on the left hand side of the picture. We'll have a look at those photos now and then we'll come back. something a bit weird for you to look at now. Two photographs. Um, they were taken at about, well the subject was about 8 to 10 feet in front of the lens and um, it's a chain link fence. The idea was that I would um, do one shot at f2.8 to do that I had to set the shutter for a thousandth of a second and I would do one at f4 with the shutter at a five hundredth of a second. Um, I really can't explain these shots. The shutter speeds are far too um, fast to have camera shake and nothing in the shots seems to be in focus. Doesn't seem to be front focused or back focused, just nothing is in focus. 
Um, it's two shots, the first one f2.8, the second one f4. If anybody has any ideas what happened on these shots, please comment because I haven't got a clue. There is a reason why this lens doesn't live up to the Carl Zeiss reputation. It isn't a Carl Zeiss lens. After the, the war and into the 50s and 60s, the communist government of East Germany uh, rationalised the optical industry. Lots of, cam uh, lots of camera and lens companies all became part of the same conglomerate. And um, the main company, the holding company, was known as Pentacon. The lens had first been introduced by Mayer Optic and it is the Orestagon lens. Um, when things were getting rationalised it was rebadged as a Pentacon lens same lens, just different label on the front and then as far as I know this is the only example of a non-Zeiss lens which has actually been labelled as a Zeiss lens because um, it became or it was marketed as a Carl Zeiss um, 29mm f2.8 lens. The only clue I suppose is on the front of the lens ring there's a little P and I think that that tells you that it was originally a pentagon but of course before that it was mere optic. This particular lens has a reputation for poor quality control. I have seen people really praising this lens but I've seen many criticising it too, so there must be a lot of bad ones out there. It's not all bad though. I've seen people, uh, a lot of people phrasing this, who have mounted it on their digital uh, cameras with crop sensors like APS-C and Micro Four Thirds. Because on those crop sensors of course it doesn't take the image from right across the front of the lens. It crops out what I would say is the bad bit. So if you if you think about a low qual uh, sorry a low cost lens to mount on your digital camera, if it's a crop sensor, don't write this one off because they are cheap as chips. So that's it for this time. We'll see you again soon. More cameras more film, more lenses. Bye for now.